Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to read you this story called Under My Hijab. I chose this story because I think it's a really good idea if we do our best to understand differences amongst us. And I've seen many people wear different kinds of coverings on their head. Um, when I was a little girl and I went to church, my mother used to wear a veil on her head. I never really knew what the meaning was. But when I see young Muslim women, they wear a hijab, and I thought it would be good to learn a little more about that. So let's see if we will in this story. This is dedicated to my strong Muslim sisters everywhere and to all the inspiring women in my life, most importantly, my mom. Grandma peeks into the oven as a brown loaf of bread starts to rise. Her hijab is carefully folded like the crust on the favorite pie. When she's at home in her kitchen, Grandma fixes her hair in a bun. We mix up some chocolate cookies and share a sweet treat when they're done. Mama makes jokes with her patient as she peers in his ears and his throat. Her bright pink hijab looks so careful, tucked into her tidy white coat. It's a pretty shade of pink. At home, Mama lets her long hair down as she rolls up her sleeves on her shirt. We laugh while she plants pretty flowers and we make a big mess with the dirt. Auntie works hard in her studio. She's always dressed funky and cool. Her silky hijab towers up high, pinned with a handmade jewel. I help hang my very own painting on the wall of her colorful home. Auntie's hair is streaked with pink and purple. A fine work of art she can comb. <laughs> her hair is beautiful, isn't it? Jenna's our fearless troop leader. She makes us the gooeyest s'mores. Her hijab is topped with a sun hat whenever we hike outdoors. And when dark falls, we huddle together and share spooky stories all night. Jenna's hair glows as she whispers. I shiver and hold her arm tight. Do any of you guys like scary stories at night? <laughs> I have to say I don't. <laughs> My sister Zaina in high school wears something stylish each day. She puts on a fashionable outfit and wraps her hijab a cute way. That's a beautiful purple hijab. Dana ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her book. Then we dig through the clothes in her closet to find tomorrow's fresh look. All the scarves hanging over by her earrings must be the different ways that she makes her hijab. Iman tries at, to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab frames her face. When she cracks a board into pieces, I'm amazed that her hijab stays in place. At my house, we dance to some music. I teach you mom moves that I know. My cousin's curls bounce, jump, humble as we put on our own private show. These wonderful girls and smart women inspire me with all that they do. I can wear my hijab like each of them or try something totally new. Under my hijab is a headband or a clip with butterfly wings. My hair shines bright like my future. I can't wait to see what it brings. At the end, we hear, there's a little bit here about the hijab, which I'll read to you. 
Like many other religions, Islam asks its followers, both men and women, to dress in a modest way. Hijab is a common word for the headscarf that millions of Muslim women wear to cover their hair and often their ears, necks, and chest. They may choose to dress in a hijab to reflect their faith, to feel closer to God, or because they believe their religion requires them to keep these parts of their body private. Women put on a scarf when they go to work or school, play sports, or any activity in a public setting, but they uncover when they are at home with men in their immediate family or in the company of women and girls. Young girls may practice wearing a hijab as part of a school uniform or to mirror the women in their lives. However, most girls don't wear a hijab regularly until adolescence. It's important to note that many observant Muslim women, including the author of this book, choose not to wear a hijab based on their personal interpretations of Islamic requirements. Yet, they may cover their hair in certain situations, such as visiting a mosque or while praying. As you saw on these pages, the hijab, like other types of clothing, is worn in many different styles on a person's individual taste and culture. It can be a beautiful expression of the Islamic faith. The end. Well, I'm really happy that I read this book because now I understand more about the hijab than I did before. I hope you all liked it too. I'll be back to read to you soon.